God, people have laughed at you. They've laughed at your prophets. They've laughed at your church. They've laughed at your intercessors. They've laughed at the patriots. They've laughed for those that voted for 45. Now I pray that their laughter would be turned into silence. Former President Donald Trump's company, along with the organization's longtime chief financial officer, have been indicted on charges which involve tax-related crimes. Trump Organization CFO Alan Weisselberg turned himself in this morning to the Manhattan District Attorney. A short time ago, he was escorted to the court in handcuffs to face charges. That indictment has been unsealed. We now know what is uh, in the charges, grand larceny in the second degree and scheme to defraud in the first degree. And the assistant district attorney told the court Weisselberg avoided taxes of $1.7 million, calling it a sweeping and audacious illegal payment scheme orchestrated by, quote, senior executives. Be like, uh, I don't think Joe's smart enough to be like, hey, let's send them off the trail. Uh, don't hack the mcdonald's on dc i mean why doesn't he just give putin like i don't know the keys to the nuclear football let's what's the list don't hack one joe's basement two hunter's businesses three hunter's laptop ten percent for the big guy four don't hack that uh What's going on? Former President Donald Trump back in his home state of Florida last night, but in a New York state of mind, reacting for the first time in public to the criminal indictments by the Manhattan DA against his company and its chief financial officer, Alan Weisselberg, for what prosecutors called a sweeping and audacious tax fraud scheme. Trump framing the charges as an ongoing political witch hunt that attacks, quote, good people simply for not paying taxes. Never before. As New York City and their prosecutors, or perhaps any prosecutors, criminally charge a company or a person for fringe benefits. Fringe benefits. Murder's okay. Human trafficking, no problem. But fringe benefits, you can't do that. God's about to bring the whole house down, ladies and gentlemen. These bunch of sex trafficking mongrels are about to be exposed. These bunch of pedophiles in Hollywood are going to be exposed for who they are. I don't care what you think about fraudulent Sleepy Joe. He's a sex trafficking, demon-possessed mongrel. He's of the left. He ain't no better than the Pope and Oprah Winfrey and Tom Hanks and the rest of that wicked crowd. God is going to bring the whole house down. I said he's going to bring the whole house down. He's going to burn the whole thing to the ground. He's going to expose all these bunch of pedophiles. I'm telling you, he's going to expose Kamala Harris for the Jezebel demon that she is. Everyone knows the Democrats and the Democrat Party out there. Everyone knows the demonic-driven parties. Who their main thing, every time they talk, they have to lick the blood of babies off their lips before they can continue their speech. Everyone knows that. James and I are both J.L.s. James Lightfoot. Jackson Hallway. But I want you to know something about this, JL. I'm not for sale. The other JL, he took a vaccine from Pfizer and then got a $10,000 donation. I don't like that. I think that we need men and women of courage who will stand up and fight against I don't know why pastors don't talk about this stuff. Well, I do. They don't want to seem crazy. I'm already crazy. People like, do you really think it's that much of an epidemic? Do you honestly believe, how about going to get some more crazy? Do you honestly believe, Pastor Lot, that the military uncovered tunnels beneath the Capitol building and beneath the White House and in the Five Fingered Lakes? Do you really believe that they found kids? Yeah, both live ones and dead ones. And if you disagree with that, and if you try to discount that, and if you try to cover that, and if you try to keep that on the DL, you're just as complicit as Hunter Biden and the rest of them bunch of crack smoking perverts.
this case speaks to something that's much larger than Mike Lindell and my pillow. What this is trying to show is trying to shut up the business community and a businessman to say, hey, if, 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 if you raise your voice, if you try to have any opinion at all, we're going to come and sue you. And most business people are going to sit there and calculate, hey, you know what? The legal is going to cost me this. I'm going to lose customers. I'm going to do it. I've got to focus on the business. They're just going to shut up. This is, this, is, this is to get people to shut up and just go along. Mm -hmm. This is how, hey, look back in the 1930s. Don't take it from Steve Bannon. Read the history of, of the 1920s and 1930s. I'm going to pick a random case in Nazi Germany. Just look at the business community. Look what happened. You can't look, if you continue to look the other way and shut up, then the oppressors, the authoritarians get total control and total power. Okay? Just read the history of this. That's what this case is about. This case is they wanted Mike Lindell to shut up and they went to the heart of where he got his resources, my pillows. Is that not right? Yep. This is really, they want every businessman right. to shut up and they're telling you, if you raise your voice, if you have an opinion, I'm gonna go after your business. God, people have laughed at you. They've laughed at your prophets. They've laughed at your church. They've laughed at your intercessors. They've laughed at the patriots. They've laughed for those that voted for 45. Now I pray that their laughter would be turned into silence. As you laugh, it's your turn now, God, to laugh out of the heavens and to show the earth that you're a just God. Overwhelming majority of Americans and pollsters have found this pretty clearly, think this is insane. They think you should judge people by what they do, not on the basis of their skin color. They believe in Martin Luther King. So it is BS, in fact, it's more than that. It's civilization ending poison, but it's everywhere. How widespread is it? Well, we can't really be sure until we finally get cameras in the classroom as we put them on the chests of police officers, until we finally get a civilian review board in every town in America to oversee the people teaching your children forming their minds, and let's hope we get both of those very soon. But until we do, we can't know exactly how widespread this is, but there are indications. We know that these ideas, this poison, has made it all the way to expensive private schools in central Ohio. Now, show the first video. About why I only paid that much is because I'm smart. You know how to game the system. Well, guess what, Mr. President? I'm coming for you. Now, be sure the volume's in the stream well. I want everybody to hear this sound. Now go to the next video and show this one. Now watch this close and listen very closely. 120 days. Give me a break. Need time. The next one. I got them $1.9 trillion relief so far. They're going to be getting checks in the mail that are consequential this week for child care. So she remind them, I wrote the bill on the environment. Why would I not be for it? Pay them more. This is an employee's, employee's bargaining chip now. Now, anyone in deliverance ministry... Anyone that's ever dealt in deliverance in the ministry where they deal with demonic spirits and evil spirits will know that sound. Anyone that's ever been in deliverance should know that sound. They know exactly what they're hearing. While the press says it's whispers, anyone that's ever been in deliverance ministry knows what that is. It's the voice of a demonic spirit. And people say, well, you know, that's pretty far out. Is it? Is it? What spirit is it, brother? It's the spirit of the serpent that possesses the jackal. You realize it's coming, right? You realize where we are. We realize what America has done. Mm. Does it scare you that America would be so, so strong in their turning their backs on God? Mm. It just drives so me crazy yeah. to see this happening in our, in our country. I felt like last, the last year, we were doing pretty good in America. And of course, COVID hit and all that kind of stuff. Do you think we have, in the last 
few months since the election, America has, if we were in religious form, we would say backslid. <laughs> America has slidden backwards more than in my entire lifetime, and I'm 81 years old. Wow. wow. Well, we made a pretty obvious suggestion on the show last night. Why don't we have civilian review boards for our schools? It's not like schools aren't important. They're maybe the most important thing we pay for. In a lot of places, they're the main thing we pay for. They're the biggest budget item in most towns, the schools. We're educating our children to become adults and run the country that they're inheriting. So why don't we know what's happening in the classrooms? Why don't we have cameras in every classroom? What a week this has been. Whew. Man, it's not every week you trend on Twitter with Tom Hanks. <laughs> they're like, do you do realize Pastor Locke, that Tom Hanks and Joe Biden and Oprah Winfrey are going to sue you. No, they won't. No, they won't. You know what happens when people sue you? You get a discovery process. You can subpoena witnesses. You can subpoena books. You can subpoena videos. And you can subpoena articles. And Two of them that I named can't sue me. They're probably sitting in Gitmo prison right now anyhow with an ankle bracelet on, praise God. They looked to the throne of Satan Is that in what that Berlin. That's what and that they, thing uh, I, I wish, I think I had sent you pictures of it on the last program. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not sure. That. I'm not sure if you've got the one where it just shows Barack Obama standing on a stage. You have that by any chance, Jeff, look in there and see if he, he may we be could, digging it up. If you have it, we could show that real quick, but I can tell it anyway. So they built this throne and it was replica after the throne of Satan in Berlin, the <laughs> Pergamon right. throne. See, there it is. See it? Really? See it, the columns? See all yeah. of that? Oh, look, man. look at the stars and stripes hanging there, and Satan's throne is above the stars. Look at it. So right. there he sits there. Now watch this. There's, this. there's the real throne of Pergamon. Tell me they don't look alike. Oh, and man. then if you superimpose one over the other, there it is. So Barack Obama... Oh, man. When he walked out on that stage and said, a righteous wind is at our back, and he starts talking about, and the crowds go wild, he's standing on a replica of the throne of Satan or the altar of Baal or the throne of Zeus. So why shouldn't we have cameras in the classroom? And now more than ever, it used to be we just trusted what they were teaching our kids. Now we know a lot of them are demented and they're teaching poison. The biggest teachers union in the country just came out in support of racist struggle session in kindergarten. How many times did he talk about the Lord and yet Christians are now, we are, we are evangelicals for B. No, you're evangelicals for D. Democratic, devilish, liberal, socialistic ideas that want to take and shut down your church that you say you love, your Jesus that you say you worship. It's the truth. Amen. Well, pastor, I don't believe that. Look at the executive orders. Look at, look at their agenda. Jesus said, you know them by their fruits. And I think if you were to put the fruits of 45 and the fruit of B together, you would see where God stands on the issue. So don't be ignorant. Amen. That's great. That's great. And those of you that write, yeah, you know the, the watch people? Yeah. yeah, I said it. <laughs> Way to go. <laughs> because what are you going to do when this stuff happens, you that write? You're going to melt like the Wizard of Oz. Yeah. <laughs> I'm melting, yeah, because your lies. God, God's a spirit of truth. And truth always outweighs lies. Uh, what's going on?